Hey guys, it's Clay Hayes coming to you from a very soggy Northwest Florida. And today we're gonna to talk about five DIY foul weather fire starters that you can make at home for next to nothing. So just last week I did a video on how to start a fire by friction in soggy conditions like this. And it's great to know how to do that. It's fun to practice, but when the chips are down, it's just flat out hard to beat a bick. So people ask me on occasion about my everyday carry, my EDC. Uh, I've never done a video on it because it is very simple. I basically, the only two things I carry every single day are my Leatherman and a lighter. Unless I'm going through an airport, I have these two things on me all the time. If you look at this lighter, you'll notice that there is duct tape wrapped around there. Duct tape has a bazillion different uses and one of them is getting a fire going when the weather is crappy. So duct tape is a petroleum based uh, thing. You tear a little bit of this off and light it on fire and it'll burn for quite a while. Now if you just have matches or a lighter like this, you want to try to conserve your fuel as much as possible. And so having a little piece of duct tape or something like this that you can light on fire and have it burn and save your fuel, that's going to go a long way to get a fire going when the weather is less than optimal. The second thing I want to talk about is the old standby, which is cotton balls soaked in Vaseline. These things are great. They're very inexpensive to make. They work in all kinds of weather conditions and they'll burn for quite a while. All you do is take a cotton ball, take some Vaseline and just work that Vaseline into the cotton ball. These cotton balls light very easily with everything from a lighter to a match to a ferro rod and even a spent lighter. If you have a lighter that's run out of fuel, you can pull out the fibers on this and you can get this going with a lighter with just the sparks from a lighter. You don't need any fuel in the lighter at all. The only downside to these cotton balls is they, they're a little bit messy and when you carry them in a Ziploc bag like this, they can be a little bit awkward to carry and the bag, if you throw it in your pack and it's in there for a long time, the bag can wear through and then you kind of get this Vaseline grease all over everything. It's not ideal, but these things uh, work great. Now my favorite fire starter to carry in my pack is basically one of these Vaseline soaked uh, cotton balls, but it's stuffed inside of a little straw like this. These things are super, super simple to make. If you're going out, you can stick a, th a few in your pocket, you can throw some in your pack, and they can be in there for years. So these little fire starters like this are really easy to make. You just need a straw, some cotton balls, and some petroleum jelly. Now you take your Leatherman, and you hold the end of the straw, light it, heat it up, and then you crimp it. And then you would take a piece of that cotton ball and stuff it inside and then do the same thing with the other side. Just hold it, light it, melt it, and crimp it. Now once they're in this state like this, they'll stay like this for basically forever. You can throw them in your pack. Uh, they're really handy to have and they last forever. And whenever you need them, you just grab one out of your pack, cut the top off, Pull a little bit of this cotton ball out. Get that sucker going. And again, this is you're gonna have all of the benefits of the cotton ball soaked in Vaseline, but it's gonna be in a much cleaner, more tidy little package. Uh, like I said, you can throw these in your pack, throw them in your pocket, keep them in your emergency kit or whatever, and they burn for quite a while. So the next fire starter I want to make is super simple to make and they work great. They're a little bit heavier and more uh, bulky and cumbersome to carry. And so I don't typically carry these in my pack, but you can keep them in the truck, you can keep them in a boat, keep them around the house for getting a, a fire starter in the wood stove. 
or you could carry them in your pack if you know that you're going to sit into uh, an environment that's going to be super soggy and you just need a bomb proof fire starter but this is basically a cardboard egg crate you can fill the little uh, dishes up with either wood shavings like I've got in this one or uh, shredded paper like this you take wax and melt it you could either use old candles crayons or you can go to the store and get some paraffin and you just pour that wax into those cups over the top of whatever you have in the cup whether it's wood shavings or shredded paper these aren't as easy to light they're not going to be as easy to light with say a ferro rod or a spent lighter but if you do have a match or a lighter like this they're pretty easy to light uh, if you can hold a flame on them for just a second and once you get them burning they burn for a long long time i'm going to set this one right back here and it's going to burn for the rest of the video now the last fire starter that I want to talk about is one of my personal favorites and now this is something that you're not going to make at home but you can find in the woods if you are anywhere that you can find pine trees and this is fatwood. This, the, the very best fatwood that I've ever found comes from longleaf pines in the southeastern United States or if you're in the mountain west. That thing's going crazy back there. If you're in the Mountain West, you can find it in Ponderosa Pine. It also occurs in other conifer species like Doug fir, um, lodgepole pine, and things like that. But the best stuff is going to come from either Ponderosa or Southern Longleaf. And what this is, is the resinous heartwood from those species. And oftentimes you can find the stumps or the heart of the stumps that have been laying on the ground for centuries that all of the other wood has rotted away and the resin in this wood keeps it from rotting and so they'll stay on the ground for a long long time so i'm just going to take a piece of this I'm gonna just cut a little piece off we'll use that and you can smell it you can smell the resin in this stuff we'll just light it off of this If you have good fat wood, once it gets burning, you can see the resin just oozing out of it. It's like a candle. It's like it's almost soaked with diesel fuel. But you can take fat wood like this and take your knife and make little shavings off of it. And those shavings will catch the spark from a ferro rod super, super easy. But when you're in the pine woods, if you can find the heart of a pine tree, that's left over after everything is rotted away. There's nothing that beats that for getting the fire going. You don't want to cook over it because you can see all this black smoke coming up, but to get a fire going, this thing right here is bomb proof. So another idea that I've seen guys do is to take the little flat uh, round cotton discs and put them in a tin and just soak them with lighter fluid or pour wax or something like that over the top so that they're all saturated. It basically worked the same exact way as a cotton ball, uh, but it's just a little bit easier to carry. More bulky uh, than something like this, but a great idea. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for this one. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so. We'll see you next time.